जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड आर लिसनिंग टू योर पेरेंट्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एडिटिव इनवर्स एंड एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी विद यू नाउ एडिटिव इनवर्स इज द वैल्यू वेर यू जस्ट चेंज द साइन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ प्लस टू हंड्रेड इज गिवन टू यू एंड इफ इट इज आर सर वॉट इज द एडिटिव इनवर्स ऑफ प्लस टू हंड्रेड द आंसर विल बी माइनस टू हंड्रेड सिमिलरली इफ एडिटिव इनवर्स इज आस्ट ऑफ माइनस फाइव दैन आंसर विल बी इफ इट इज माइनस यू विल चेंज इट साइन इट विल बी प्लस फाइव ओके तो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो चैप्टर नंबर वन इंटीजर्स very important integer rules in class 6 you must you must have done additions of integers but by in on a number line now let's go through some rules now when we have same signs always add the integers and then keep their sign okay for example if there are two integers and both are positive both have plus sign okay same sign always add okay same sign always add and keep the sign of the integers see in the bracket there are two negative integers but what are we going to do we are going to add them because they are same alike and then because they are same so obviously we are going to keep their sign the sign remains same it's i'll explain it through some examples just check so the plus 3 and plus 4 they are two positive integers and you have to add them okay so 4 plus 3 is 7 now both are positive integers so you'll keep the sign of plus next minus 3 plus minus 4 now please check the brackets okay so we have two negative integers in the bracket what are we going to do because they are same they are alike we are going to add them so what is 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 is 7 and since both are same both are minus we'll add sign of minus let's see what's next so when we have different signs that we then we always subtract but keep the sign of the greater number now see this when you have to add two different uh, you know um, integers like signs with diff Uh, integers with different sign for example minus plus and plus in the bracket there will be two integers of different sign okay then what will you what will you do you'll always subtract but keep the sign of the greater number or greater value now please check the example minus 3 plus plus 10 now it is not necessary that in the bracket there will be a sign of plus okay it is not mandatory so many times you will not find this sign over here but if there is no sign it means it is a positive integer okay okay now let's come back to this question so in this bracket there is minus 3 integer and in this bracket there is integer plus 10 first of all we will find which one is greater 3 or 10 so we see 10 is greater than 3 and what is the sign of 10 it is plus so we will first write the sign of plus and we know since both integer have different sign we are supposed to subtract them so 10 minus 3 is 7 10 minus 3 is 7 next see this is what i have explained next plus 3 plus bracket me minus 10 okay so again we have two integers of different sign therefore what are we supposed to do we are supposed to subtract them so 10 minus 3 is 7 okay we have written 7 now let's check the sign 
is 3 greater or 10 greater? 10 is greater. Yes? And what is the sign of 10? The sign of 10 is negative. So what will be the answer? It will be minus 7. Okay? Okay. Now, integer rules for subtraction. Let's go through this. Now, concept of... Okay, over here we are supposed to use the concept of additive inverse. Okay, so you know if outside bracket there is a sign of minus or negative, then you have to change the sign of the integers that are inside the bracket. Okay, let's see this example minus 4, minus plus 8. So the, the two integers are minus 4 and plus 8. Minus 4 and plus 8. And what do we have to do? We have to subtract them. So first we see that outside this bracket there is a sign of minus. What are we going to do? This is additive inverse. This is additive inverse. So we are going to change the sign of the integer that is inside the bracket. Then we write minus 4 minus 8 equals minus 12. Now, since both integers have same sign, what are we going to do now? We are going to add them and both integers are negative. So we are going to keep their sign. The answer will be minus 12. Okay. Next example, plus 4 minus minus 8. Okay. This integer is plus. First integer is plus, second integer, which is inside the bracket, is negative. Again, you are going to use, uh, you are going to apply the concept of additive inverse since there is negative sign outside the bracket. So this will be 4 plus 8 equals to plus 12. Okay. Now, what if both integers are negative? And you have to subtract them. So let's see. It's again easy. We just have to apply the concept of additive in words. Example, minus 12, minus, minus 10. Okay. So two integers are minus 12 and minus 10. And outside the bracket is a sign of negative. So applying the concept of additive in words. Minus 12. Plus 10 equal to minus 2. Okay. Here we have again applied the uh, rule. See minus 12 plus 10. Both integers have opposite signs. And 12 is greater than 10. So I have kept the uh, sign of the greater value. So 12 is greater. So keeping the sign of negative. Answer is minus 2. Again, if both integers are positive and there's a, and then you have to subtract it. What you have to do? Check. Plus 30 minus, then again bracket, inside the bracket there is plus 50. So nothing, you just have to apply again the concept of additive inverse and you get 30 minus 50. Okay. Now, one integer is plus another integer is negative so uh, check which one is greater 30 or 50 50 is greater than 30 so keeping the sign of 50 which is minus answer is minus 20 okay now let's go through this problem exercise 1.1 Following, this is from your NCRT. Following number line shows the the following number line shows the temperature in degrees Celsius at different places on a particular day. Okay. Question number A. Observe this number line and write the temperature of the places marked on it. Okay. Let's go through the answer. So we can see that zero is the origin. And 5 degrees Celsius, the temperature of Shimla. After this, 15, 1 less than 15 is 14. So 14 degrees, the temperature of Uti. 
Now this is 20 and 20 plus 2 is Bangalore, which is 22. Okay. 0. On the left of 0 is minus 1, then minus 2. At minus 2, you can see Srinagar. And what will be the temperature of Lahore Spiti? See, this is minus 5. So when you go to left, the temperature, the numbers keep on decreasing. So minus 5, then minus 6, then minus 7, and then minus 8. So what will be the temperature of Lahore Spiti? It will be minus 8. Okay. That's it for today, students. Now, I'm going to give you some questions and you are going to solve them. And I will be discussing these questions with you at the end of the chapter. Okay?